Hi, in today's video we'll be showing you how to use the PowerTouch Evolution motor mover. This is a manual engagement motor mover, you can get the auto engage. However, I'll show you how to do the auto engage on the remote. First of all, we're going to grab our actuator bar and we're going to put it onto the mover like so. It does have a specific position to go into, you can't really get it wrong, so that's on there now. Then we're going to put it over clockwise till we hear a big bang like so that's now the motor mover engaged on you will see a yellow marker in the tick box to show that it's definitely on we're over at the battery box now where the isolator key goes for this motor mover to turn it on and off you may have requested for your isolator to be fitted in a different place in the caravan, but this one's got it in the battery box. It still works the same way. We're going to take our isolator key and put it in to the socket, and then we turn clockwise. That's now power to the motor mover. Now that we've engaged the motor mover onto the wheels and we've turned it on, we're going to take the handbrake off. The motor mover will hold the van just as the handbrake would, so there's no need to worry about it moving anywhere. So now that we've got the motor mover engaged and we've got it turned on, we're going to turn it on via the remote. To turn it on, you must press both power buttons. That's a safety feature so that you can't accidentally turn it on in a pocket and start moving the caravan around. We've got a green light in the far right hand side of this light here. We can adjust that and that's how we adjust the speed. The far right is the fastest speed, far left is the slowest speed. There's not much difference. This here indicates that that's the hitch, so we know that this button here is going to take the caravan forwards. This one's backwards. The turns on the motor mover are a little bit the opposite of what you think. So, this one here is actually on the left, but the caravan is going to go towards the right. And vice versa. And if you need to make a backwards turn, you can use the arrows at the back, which will turn the caravan while it moves backwards. When you want to finish using the mover, you can press both the buttons to turn the remote off but after a few minutes it will turn itself off. So we're back at the battery box now and we're going to complete the disengagement procedure. First things first, we're going to turn the key anti-clockwise and completely remove it from the socket. That's now no power to the motor mover. You must remember not to leave this key in. Even if you're not using the motor mover there will still be power going to it and that will kill your battery off. So we're back down at the front of the caravan now and we're going to put the handbrake on before we disengage the caravan's motor mover so it doesn't roll. We're back down by the motor mover where the wheels are now and we're going to disengage it from the wheels. To do this we put the bar back on as we did before and make sure it's locked in properly. You must use two hands to disengage the motor mover. The spring that takes it off is very very strong and you can do yourself some damage if you don't do it properly. We're going to have one hand here, one hand here, up, control it over, and then off. We must make sure the last thing we do is double check that we've got a yellow icon on the cross so we know that the motor mover is disengaged. That's everything, you're ready to go.